Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I'm an artist. Today we're going to be doing some painted studies from the Wes Anderson film The Grand Budapest Hotel. I really enjoy doing studies from films. It's probably one of my favorite ways to practice painting. I like to go right in and sketch with paint. Here I'm using some thin down raw sienna to sketch out the main shapes of the face. I'm focusing on the main shadow shapes that I see, especially around the eye sockets and the shape under the nose. These are both very important for getting the likeness of a portrait. I would say this here is the beginning of the end or where the painting sort of got away from me and that is when I got fixated on this one eye for some reason. Sometimes when you're painting you get into this zone and I try and stay away from this zone. I try and stay very aware of what I am doing in the moment um, and placing my brush strokes very methodically. But at this point I got carried away with this eye and that is when I lost sight of the picture as a whole and the face started to morph away from what I wanted it to be. It's sort of like falling into your own trap. It was also around this time when I noticed that I was losing the likeness of the actress. At this point, I am desperately trying to bring the painting back. I learned a lot while working on this painting, though I don't necessarily think it was successful. I think, like every painting I do, I learn a little more. I once heard a teacher say that the difference between a good painter and a bad painter is that good painters just keep going and they just keep doing it. I never think of a failed painting as a waste of time but rather I think of it as a learning experience. Even if it doesn't go how I want it to, I'm satisfied that I at least sat down and I painted. Okay, so it's actually a new day. Um, the painting wasn't really going how I wanted it to. It's, hold on, I'm gonna take this off, maybe the glare. I scraped away a lot of the paint on the face because I really just need to repaint We'll have to see. I hope I don't have to just completely scrap this painting. So here I'm just talking about the clothing I wear while I'm painting, and the fact that the blouse I'm wearing, I actually made myself. On the other side of my studio is my sewing desk. I really love painting, but I also love to sew my own clothes, and I'm thinking of bringing some of that to this channel if people are interested. Above my desk, there was a blank section of wall that really needed something hanging there. I had recently finished a painting from the movie Pride and Prejudice. I was able to thrift a frame that was the exact size of the painting, 
So here I am trying to take apart the back of the frame and I really love the way this looks above my sewing desk. You can see I have a few of my other paintings above this desk as well. I love looking up while I'm sewing and seeing my own artwork. It just makes the space feel really cozy to me. While taking a break from my oil painting, I wanted to do a little gouache study in my sketchbook. I still wanted to stay in the realm of this film, and so I decided to paint this different character. I start off by sketching with my Colerase pencil. I really love these pencils for sketching. While watching the movie, I really loved how this character looked. I loved the shape of her face and the shape of her hair. As soon as I saw this character, I knew I wanted to paint her or sketch her. I only recently started painting with gouache again. The last time I worked with gouache was actually the last gouache video on this channel, and that was years ago. So I am really rusty with this medium, but I've been really enjoying getting into it. I'm trying to learn to be more bold when I paint with gouache. I still feel like I'm not using it to its full potential. I think switching between mediums while you work can really allow you to appreciate the nuances of each medium. I never want to feel like I can't paint because I don't have my oils, or I can't draw because I don't have these specific pencils or this specific sketchbook. I always want to feel like whatever I have at my disposal I'm able to create with and not feel burdened by whatever the medium is or feel that I'm lacking something. Artists have always been really resourceful in that way. If they don't have a canvas, they'll paint on cardboard. I did eventually end up going back to my oil painting. Here's the finished painting. I went over the background with a pink. I also made sure to add her birthmark on her cheek, which I had forgotten to do. I do think I overworked this piece, and it's funny because watching this video back, I'm able to see the exact moments where things went wrong. This painting is no boy with apple. If you watch this entire video, thank you so much. If you're an artist or a painter, let me know what you're working on down in the comments. You can also let me know if you've seen this movie and what you thought of it.